Okay, so good morning everyone. So today I'm gonna I'm gonna try to try to I would say try to um, uh, try to sh uh, share my understanding about the special econometrics model because as you can see here, maybe when you when you read this chapter, you might find that this chapter is uh, poorly written, I would say. Because uh, it does not mean that it is not right. It means that it is very hard to understand. Because uh, others, the others, maybe I think that due to the page limitation problem issues. So this chapter actually very, very briefly summarizes about the, what the special econometrics model is about. Because it is also the same for the chapter 16, because of special regression and special econometrics model. Both both chapter actually kind of, like, uh, I would say, mm, very very hard to understand. That means it is uh, does not have a uh, enough kind of information about the, how those things works, and then uh, how we can under how we can understand and conduct uh, these kind of uh, modeling approaches. So as I uh. As as I recommended it last last week, maybe because in here actually the authors mentioned about the Lusage and Pace book, and also 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 uh Bibant and Pebesma kind of book. There is a book called Apply Special Data Analysis with R. I strongly recommend you to check out the, those two books. Maybe in case of the, let me show you the uh, the sales special. In case of the, this one, you can actually, I think that download the book i guess i'm not sure if you can maybe if you can you can actually access online for the this book i guess because in here as you can see there is a there is a website about the about the, their book yeah so in here this one so maybe you can feel free to check out the, their yeah, cool. If you can, if you can, you want to do that. And then maybe when you click on these things, I'm not sure why this can be possible, but maybe, maybe you can just check out those books. Like, uh, uh, when you maybe Amazon, like, uh, scan econometrics. Yeah. This one is the, the book actually. The authors actually cited a lot for the special econometrics for this book. So you can feel free to check that out if you can maybe have a chance to check, chance to see the, this book, maybe in the library or maybe something. So you can feel free to check out the, this book because this book actually explains uh, a little bit more detail about the special econometrics, especially for the special regression model, like uh, in the chapter 17, they actually mentioned about the special lag and special error model in here. And then how we can fit the, those special regression model based on the covariates. And then, but to more detailed information, you can feel free to check out this book. And also, also check out the apply special data analysis with R for the second edition for the by the big bounce and pebbles model. So especially when you're looking at the, this book, maybe you will find that there is a chapter called the special regression model. And then uh, you can check the, those chapter and then uh, you can find the more a little bit more detail about the how a little bit more fundamental mechanism of the how special econometrics and regression works. But anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start Based on based on the this our textbook, I'm gonna start try to try to try to show you about the what the thing 
about the special econometrics. So actually, basically, special econometrics is a kind of like a, just kind of a, when we say about the, this is actually a little bit same word for the regression, which means maybe whenever we have a, some of the, some of the special distribution, like across the space, there is actually kind of like a, this special distribution pattern of the observations at the same time, some of the special allocations between the, these kind of observations. So in the special econometrics and special uh, regression actually uh, considers both, both aspects, which means some of the special, uh, special oral correlation relationships between the between the observation and also overall spatial distribution like a clustering or dispersion pattern of the observation. Special econometrics actually focusing on the how we can integrate in those kind of aspects into the one single model. So so there is actually two ways to to consider those kind of aspects. Actually, in the in the previous chapter, we actually cover about the SAR and then a CAR, like a simultaneous auto regression, uh, auto regressive model, and then conditional auto regressive auto regressive model. This one is also also same thing about the based on the covariates, so how we can explain the this kind of a special correlation and then the overall distribution, but. Also, there is a, another way to do that is the, we can use the variant, uh, like a variance standard deviation lag for the special coefficients, for the special lag model, and also special error model. What does this mean is when we say about the special lag model, it actually means that the special oral correlation and special overall uh, special pattern of the observation is the dependent, uh, depend on the variation of the response variable, like an independent variable. Special error model is those kind of all special oral correlation is a highly associated, depends on about the uh, regression residual, like an error, error. So when we say about the y equal like a beta zero plus a beta one x plus epsilon, this is a basic, basic formula for the regression, right? But in case of the special regressions, we actually have kind of like a bare zero plus row, uh, like a, in case of the leg, low leg, X, W plus Epsilon. This one is actually basic kind of a formula for the special leg, uh, special leg model. And then the special error is the this W, which is the geographically weighted matrix, gonna be gonna be here, like a uh, error term. So, like a beta zero, maybe be, maybe X plus uh, low error W E. This one is uh, epsilon. This one is a kind of like a basic kind of a formula, I would say, for the for the special lag and error model. So this is actually basic concept. So that means whenever we have, uh, we think that the special oral correlation comes from the response variable, which is the covariates. In that case, we can use, we can use the special lag model. Maybe that special oral correlation actually comes from the error, like a regression residual. That means we actually using the, this one. But the problem in here is, most of the cases, when we try to do the special regression or special econometrics model, we are not we are not hundred percent sure if those kind of a special auto correlation come from the special lag, like a respondent variable or regression residual. So in in that case, we sometimes need to be consider both special lag and special error. We have to consider both of them. In that case, there is actually another model called the geographically weighted regression model. And also maybe a more advanced model gonna be the spatial filtering model.
Yeah. So actually these two, maybe GWR is uh, quite, quite uh, emerged quite a long time ago, but special filtering is a little relatively new kind of approaches because uh, this one is actually developed by both of them. I, uh, I think that this one is actually developed by uh, Daniel, Daniel A. Griffith. Professor Dr. Daniel A. Griffith, and then uh, he actually tried to he actually kind of a top expert about the special filtering model. And then uh, what special filtering model does is uh, we actually try to try to develop the, some of the overall special pattern set of the special pattern of the of the uh, special possible special pattern of the map based on the what is called the eigen eigen vector that's what i what i know and then we actually what is what what we special filtering does is we actually find that the find the optimizing the, the optimal value of the eigen vector that represents the represents the variation of the special order correlation and variation of the special pattern of the observations and then by using the dead eigen vector, we can remove, we can filtering, literally filtering out the neighboring effect of the observation. After that, using the dead filtered data set, we just using, we just using that filtered out data set as a kind of a normal database. And then we can just kind of run the model. That's the what special filtering do. What is the big advantage of the special filtering is before we conducting the uh, modeling, we actually filtering out to the neighboring effect. And then we actually using the dead data like a normal regression, normal data for the regression model. That means we can actually conduct any type of the regression model by using the dead filtered out data which is the multi-level or structure equation model. So more complicated model can be implemented after the filtering out the neighboring effect from the data set. That's the big advantage of the uh, special filtering. Because the special filtering is the before we run the model, we we have we have to we we usually con pre-processing of all the data set by filtering out the, the neighboring effect. And then what the GWR does is, this one is just kind of a normal regression kind of approaches, but the thing is what GWR did is we actually consider the both special error and special uh, special lag kind of uh, variations at the same time within the one single model by using the more standardized weighted geographically weighted matrices. And then we can estimate the co variations in the coefficients across the spaces over, or across the space or across the space. That's the what GW are gonna do. So these two are the more kind of emerging and then the more, I would say, more generalizable kind of approaches compared to the special lag and special error. So that's the kind of thing. And then in here, actually, uh, authors just kind of literally explains about the special lag and special error model. And then these are the kind of a definition of the special lag and special error. So in here, when you're looking at the, like I said, when you're looking at the, these kind of a normal kind of a regression model, and then in this case, we actually define the U like an error term like this. So that, that means this W and this special autocorrelation coefficients like a low error actually uh, related with the uh, error term like a epsilon and U. So these are the actually what is called a special error model because the, all of the special autocorrelation effect and then neighboring effect comes from the re, uh, re, uh, regression residual of the model. I cannot find uh, any kind of a good example about the, how we can use, use the special error model, but there might be the example about the 
this special error model. Maybe if you if you know some example, maybe you can feel free to let me know to share. And then these are the kind of a basic kind of a approaches to the how we can set up the special error model. So based conceptually, we actually focusing on uh, apply to the our geographically weighted matrices like a W into the our error uh, our error term. Not the not the not the response variable. When the this when the our uh, geographically weighted matrices matrix and then uh, these coefficients actually apply to the response variable, that's uh, gonna be the special uh, lag model, which is maybe I think that at the bottom in here, this one. I think that this is, oh uh, yeah, this is the special lag X model, SLX, yeah. This is my big, because uh, this one is actually, the geographical weighted matrix is come from the observations, this response variable gonna be applied in here. And then set of the correlations, covariates here and here. So all of the geographically weighted matrix is gonna be applied to the, these two, two covariates. And then these are the what is called the special lab model. So we, rather than the try to focusing on the, this kind of a formula and then how this formula works, cause this one is actually kind of a matrix based algebra kind of approaches, I guess. But personally, I'm not kind of a math, 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 mathematician. So I'm, for me, it is a very hard to understand about the, how these things come from. I know that I I gonna be the like a zero one uh one zero zero one kind of a matrices, but but the thing is uh, I'm I don't know how those things gonna be work like this way, and then the, this one is uh, like a inverse matrices all the these matrices. So all of the these kind of a formula actually kind of a matrix matrix based algebra for the regression of process. But conceptually, what the special error is that we actually apply to the geographically weighted matrices to the error term. And then a specially, specially lagged model actually apply to the geomet geographically weighted matrices to the response variable, which is Y, and set up the covariates, which is the axis. Those are the kind of uh, two different approaches about the special lag and special error model. Do you have any questions so far? Anything? No. Okay. Yeah, I hope that this might be okay to un con understand the concept of the special lag and special error. Cause uh, in here, the the chapter chapter manuscript the, the text chapter in the textbook is uh, very very briefly explained about the special lag and special error term, because uh, I actually, to understand what they actually said, I actually tried to read another special econometrics and special analysis book, which I show you uh, at the beginning of the today's study club. So I actually had those two books and then I actually read uh, those two books and then still it is still hard to understand, but I'm now kind of a little bit figure out conceptually how those things can be done. And then there is also kind of a very complicated kind of a process about the, by using the sum of the inversing and then uh, try to reorganizing the uh, formulas above. And then we can finally get that it's kind of a special lag kind of a formula, which is a little bit complicated combined with the set of the uh, inverse matrices and then uh, some of the error term and then the X dependent uh, X covariates. And then the left side is the just kind of only Y gonna be the main. So more like a regression type of the formula. But still, you can just see that the rating matrix is gonna be applied to the, these X covariates and then uh, these error terms. Those are the kind of approaches for the special regression, especially for the special lag kind of approaches. And then in R, there is actually packages called special lag packages. This one is the, one of the most commonly used packages when we try to do con conduct a special lag model. 
And also, we sometimes use the MC special packages for the Monte Carlo kind of approaches. And then, uh, and then, but usually I would say about the, this one, the special leg is the, what we usually use. Because in the special leg, leg, there is a function called SARLM and also, uh, also SA. R A A U L M I guess A L M I guess so S A R L M function is a kind of a regression uh regression function for the this kind of a special leg kind of approaches because uh, there is actually arguments uh in the those kind of functions like uh like uh, these kind of a doubling arguments taking the logical value of the formula for the special leg form. And then based on the, this kind of a doubling argument, because the doubling test is uh, allows us to the figure out the why where the special autocorrelation come from. If the if the doubling after the doubling test, special we can actually figure out the where the special autocorrelation come from, especially for the whether special autocorrelation come from the response variable or maybe error term. Depending on the, this kind of a test, we can actually apply apply for the spe which mode that we're gonna apply, like a special leg, like a, like this one, or maybe special error model. Okay. And then let's see the these are kind of a example. So when as you can see here, special error model, we can actually set up the doubling gonna be false. Because uh, when we have a kind of a special leg, we actually have a leg, S-A-R-L-M, and then the doubling going to be forced in here, like uh, these kind of uh, options. By setting up the, these kind of options, and then uh, we can, in here, we actually try to do the maybe formula called the set of the logic, set of the uh, response bar uh, uh, covariates, and then data, Equal here and then Dublin. Dublin, uh, not the Dublin, like a Dublin is false, like this. This is how it's a kind of very same thing for the LM function. So you can just using like a regression model kind of a formula. Okay. And then when we looking at the Boston house data, uh, housing data set, as you can see here, we can say this is an error, error kind of a error term for the approaches. And then a form is actually, actually when you're looking at the chapter 16, there is actually a formula about the housing prices versus the set of the dependent, uh, set of the independent variable. And then that's gonna be using the formula. And then data is the, this one. And then we also apply to the weighted variable in here, like like here, I can I can factor kind of approaches, and then geo policy gonna be true, cause there is actually 17, 17 missing value in the data set. So so we have to set up the zero policy gonna be true. So we have to we have to consider the, those seventeen missing values data set, and then we can set up the, this kind of a error term and then uh, in here it does not mention about the what's the what's the result but you can actually using the summary summary function you can actually see the all of the coefficients and then uh, uh, p values to testing the significance of the each coefficients of the each uh, covariates in the model okay so it is a very same same approach as when you try to do the linear regression model. It's the same same formula and then the same format. There is a, some several several kind of options like uh, we have to apply to the geographically weighted matrices and also we have to create the that one before we conducting the model. But other than that, everything is the pretty similar to the conducting the just kind of a simple linear regression model in R by using the LM function, okay? And then this one is about, this one says, is uh, by using the Hausmann test, 
we can actually thinking about the what is the special oral correlation gonna be uh, uh gonna be related to uh, to the our model so it is just kind of a validity try to testing about the validity of the, our special oral correlation uh, special regression model and then keep going down and then LM test the likelihood test. This one is just kind of a testing of the goodness of the fit of the death special oral correlation, uh, special auto regression model or special regression model. And then we can say the how fit both models are. And then there is also maybe this one is the LM SLX is another kind of approaches for the special lag kind of approaches and then also do the same thing for the likelihood uh, test for the goodness of the fit. And then uh, I think that this is a uh, kind of things. Uh, and then the next chapter is uh, actually what I really hard to understand about the impact because the impact is the kind of like, uh, how those special oral correlations can be explained, those variation of the special oral correlation or this uh, special pattern of the observation can be explained by the core set of the covariates you you actually add it to the model and then the, what's the those what's the direct and indirect impact of the each covariate like uh, each independent variable on the special distribution of the observation in the y that's the what the impact is about and then uh, that's the what i I understand about the impact. Just let me know if you have any question or let me know if you are have another opinion about the impact. Because uh, what I actually understand about the impact means it is a kind of like a testing, testing the testing the uh, set of the set of the uh, independent variable like a covariates, like the impact of the covariates. Effect, testing the effect of the co each covariates on the special oral correlation and the special distribution of the of the observation in Y, like uh, variations, vari variation in the in the special pattern of the Y variable, like observations. That's the, what I understand. And then what's the indirect and direct impact for the those things? To measuring the those things, you can actually it is very simple. When you try to summary, you just set the impact function in here, and then you can just enter the your model object in here, and then uh, you can get the set of the impact uh, value in here, and then you can by uh, using the R bind, which is the, like a look like a more like a table set. And then you can see the what's the overall indirect and direct effect, and then with the standard error, and then by using the standard error, you can actually calculate about the p value, right? This uh, this one divided by the standard error, right? Impact divided by square standard error gonna be give you the sum of the t or g statistic value. And then by using the, these two value, you can actually recognize the p-value, where the p-value is in. Maybe is that over 1.96 or less than negative 1.96? You can just start testing those things and then uh, try to try to testing about the significance of the direct and indirect impact of the variations. Explain, uh, uh, variation, explain the variation in the special distribution of the of the dependent variable in Y. So I think that that's it because the prediction is a kind of like what the prediction is a, is a, this one is actually kind of a, like I said, uh, in the in our housing, Boston housing value data set, there is actually 17 missing housing values. So by using the our model, how we can predict the, those values based on the our special our special regression model? This is the this section actually explained about how we can predict the those uh, missing values and then uh, adding those value those sensors value into the, our 
existing model and then I'll be testing the um, rerun the model. That's the how how prediction is about. Cause uh, it, cause uh, we just, it is just kind of literally explain about the, how we can fill the missing value by using the previous by using the special regression model that we have conducted in the previous sections. So that's the kind of thing. So this is the end of the chapter that I actually understand. And then uh, still, I'm I'm a little bit apologize about uh, I cannot explain a little bit more detail about how these things, these functions actually works because in case of the INLA kind of a function, which is the INLA packages, function from the INLA packages, this one is actually another kind of a modeling approaches when you have a spatial temporal data set. But this one by itself is a very complicated modeling process included in the model. There is actually our journal article that explained about the, what the INLA package is about. But when you when you find when you check out the that INLA package INLA, INLA uh, uh, package document, you can still find that this one is extremely difficult to understand. And also I'm not sure how we how we can apply to the this kind of a like a monte i think a more like a simulated simulation based kind of approaches for the, this function because uh, that is i cannot understand the details about the, how these things work so i cannot explain those things i'm sorry about this and then and then other than that i think that's it so this is the end of the chapter 17. But basically, in the chapter 17, I just want you to understand that the, what's the con conceptual approaches to the special leg and special error model, and then how those those how geo geographically weighted metrics gonna be applied depending on the special leg and special error model, and then how how we can learn how we can learn the those model in R by using the, this kind of a set of the functions. And then once you get the, get the special geographically weighted matrices and then, and then have a data with the special uh, relationships, the only thing is you just uh, writing the, your functions, set, uh, just two or three lines of the code, like, a, like a D, by using the this function. And then uh, the formula is also pretty similar to the simple regression model formula. So it is not that kind of a difficult, just only learning the learning the learn the model by itself. But the, when you interpret the covariate coefficients of the, those uh, those covariates means means you have to thinking about the how how each covariate is gonna be affected to the distribution, special distributions, variation in the special distribution of the observation in Y. That's the kind of a problem. So, and then the coefficients actually stands for about the, how each, each covariate explain the variation of the special distribution, like intensity or clustering or disperse of the, of the, of the response variable in Y. So I think that uh, this is it. And then do you have any questions?